Hey, what's up guys, the Animec here, and welcome to another game of mine, I mean a video of mine, and today we're playing a game of one of my favorite YouTubers, his name is uh, Dan, or official, or a uh, nerd cube, you should so go check him out guys, he is so awesome, and just an awesome YouTuber that makes games, oh, but it's really cool, like as you can see, there there's really cool options like that with the, uh, with the audio, and guys, I'm, I might be screwing up because this is a very, like, keyboard-heavy based game. And I'm usually really good with the keyboard if I don't smash it. Um, but I'm really, I'm actually really tired. It's 8.40 in the morning and I haven't gotten to bed yet, so right after this, I'm probably doing my chores from last night, taking a shower and hopping right in bed. And maybe grab some breakfast. <laughs> Alright, alright, so uh, let's go ahead and play this. Basically, the object of the game is you need to save people, and when keys get red, you need to press that key. And part of the fun of this game is not knowing which key you're pressing. And it's like, it, it has a lot of stress to it. And it's like, am I pressing the right key? Am I pressing the right key? Crap, crap, crap. If you press the wrong key, if you press on the green keys, everything just starts getting faster and and uh, harder. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, 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 oh my gosh. No! Alright, well, I already kind of saw what happened there. Alright, so, really, he kind of made it easy for us when he removed the keys. By making uh, uh, F and J the uh, most ones that stay lit because um, F and J uh, is like the more natural one, uh, is like the more natural keys for us. And so, like if you look at your F and J keys right now, they have a uh, they have a uh, little bubble on them right now, and that and that's so that they can rest in your uh, hands a lot easier in your uh, fingers. Oh my gosh. Now, I gotta say, Dan, you, you made a pretty good- No! <laughs> oh, man. So as you can see there, if you fail to save the people, the sh ship blows up. You're on a spaceship trying to save a lot of people. I gotta say, Dan, this is a great game. Thank you so much for making it. Um, and letting us monetize this and have fun with it. It is phenomenal. And, um, I'm probably actually gonna send this gameplay to him. And, uh, just with the message saying thank you so much for your game making. And he actually hired somebody to help him with that. And I'm, uh, he's actually gonna try to release a lot more games, like once every, like, three months or whatever. I, I am really looking forward to that and seeing what the uh, nerd cute what uh, the nerd cute business can do. Oh my gosh, this is such a hard game, guys. I think Dan accidentally made a uh, raid here. Crap! Oh man, my I tried this out before I played this, and my uh, my least uh. My most saved people is 716. Now I gotta try to beat 716. That's gonna be really hard, guys. I really like the art style of this too. Um, it, everything I can't really see a flaw with this. It is a really good like arcade game and something to really get the high mass by. And it could be something to uh, get your typing up too. Say if like you want to uh say if uh, you want your kid to get better at typing or you want to get faster at typing or whatever whatever the circumstances and causes uh just make it a game for them. I remember um I remember our teacher when we were learning how to type when I was learning how to type in my school when I was in kindergarten uh he had us play a game and uh, oh my gosh then it really helped me out. This is super, like, you gotta be super focused. It's like a Flabby Bird type game. You have to be super focused in order to play this. 
crap! I really, I really, really like this kind of art style, man. I think you'd be really good with the art style. Crap, I accidentally restarted the game! No! Seven ninety three. We can do this, guys. We can do this. And as you can see, there's a little counter at the at the top. You probably already figured that out. But also, those computer monitors, the uh, where the power buttons are, those are actually your lives. So that's a really neat idea. got some really nice audio um and it really isn't a commentary game though um because the person gets so focused into it where like with games like am uh, amnesia or something you can pick up the objects and like commentate with them Now Dan, I will say this, uh, you should add checkpoints like every hundred, every like 150 or something. Add a checkpoint, that way if you die, uh, you can come back. Uh, I know this was uh, made on a uh, uh, game constructor or, or whatever, um, but try to add that, that, that way um, like people can save games and like they can get as
come on. Ain't none, dude. I guess we banging choppers with them texts. No time was wasted, no, not a satisfaction.